Be kind review uh, number six, but this one is a little different. Of course, it is 447 in the morning. Um, I always get up super early on Christmas. It's no exception. This time it was to make sure I had wrapped all the presents. So you can see there's a bunch of stuff for the kids. Um, something for my ex-wife. I'm that guy. Yeah, good guy. Um, my sister sent a bunch of things for the girls and for me. Um, you know, I'm... <sighs> I don't get a lot of presents anymore. Kind of sucks, um, or it would. But what we're here to review. Uh, look at that bad boy. PlayStation Four. Uh, my kids are obsessed with the game. Let's see, where would that be? Here. Yay! Look, I wrapped it. Um, <clears throat> so my plan is, my plan is, I'm gonna give the kids the game that they're obsessed with but have never played i'm going to give them that and then they'll open it and they'll be like oh that's really sweet dad but it's it's for playstation 4 we don't have a playstation oh and then eventually they'll unwrap this thing and um that'll be the big final gift that's their red rider bb gun i'll bust that out and then they'll open that oh my god we've got a playstation 4 um so that'll be great. And all these gifts are awesome. Um, you know, my sister's family, I'll get a gift. I'm sure my mom uh, has a gift along with whatever present to me. Um, uh, beyond that, and then my ki the kids will get me stuff, which will be cool. Um, but I I'll be honest, I haven't really looked forward forward to like receiving a Christmas present for a long time until this bad boy this bad boy I even made the sweet question mark for it uh, I, I, I i'm wearing the very aggressive shirt uh, i realized that <clears throat> now i get to open presents all year long and it's because of the people who listen to this um uh, friends of mine and that kind of thing and that's it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm trying not to cuss in this thing, and it's remarkably difficult. Um, it's amazing. Um, and the saga of what's in the box, what's in the box, has been way more engaging to people than I thought it would be. I thought I was the only one, you know, when it was told to me um, by the person who sent this, that I should open it on Christmas, and that it would be the best thing that I've gotten yet. Um... That's a lot of buildup, and this thing, to warn you, could end up Al Capone's vault all the way. I got to open this thing, and the person who sent this to me, who is a friend of mine, and it is a person of notes, and I would not want to put their name out there. I'd want not want to put her name out there, but when she gave this to me, I mean, it could be that it's the kind of person where it could be something crude. So I could be doing all of this not swearing for nothing. Um, it could be hilarious. It could be very in-joke. It could be any number of things. But I'm excited. And that alone is wonderful. It's nice to be excited about stuff. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy. What do you say? I put this here. Yay, scissors. Um, take the question mark. Put it there. I hope people listening to this have a wonderful holiday. If you do the Hanukkah thing, I hope you've gotten many a great present of the eight. Um, if you do the Kwanzaa thing, it's sweet. There's some dishes I've had from Kwanzaa related that were really fantastic. And some that I've had that I'm like, man, it's going to be hard to hard to forget that meal um or christmas of course maybe some of you are going to be watching this as you're sort of forcing yourself awake i have to get stuff done because i'm going to get over there by six that's the time that we insist the the little one veronica she'll get up before six often but she's 
to stay in her room so we can have the presentation. So. All right. So the box is open. There's like paper on top, so I can't see what it is. But you can see. Oh, here it is. It's a clothing item, so I think what's the best thing to do? Me just to re reach in. I didn't really plan this out, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm just going to reach in, pull it out, see what it is. Uh, it's got paper all around it, so I'm having to move stuff up. Holy... Oh, I don't swear. Holy fuck. Uh, that's me with it's the green mother fucking jacket new like this thing which snapped off of the original one which I gave to Matt Hankins at my last appearance at PCW uh, at the conclusion of a sacred ground and I didn't I didn't tell him that I was going to do that. I wanted to have it be a surprise for him. And I wanted the genuinely emotional moment of I'm giving up this wrestling shit. I'm giving it up. And it's all yours. And I wanted him to understand symbolically and the crowd to understand symbolically that I wasn't going to, that it wasn't mine, that I was giving it up. But um, <clears throat> when I drew blood talked about the iconic look of Doc Brock. Of course I rolled my eyes because when you see Green Jacket, it's not fucking Doc Brock, it's me, right? Um, I had often tried to find, I tracked it down enough online, not that I could find one, but that I I'd learned that this particular jacket which was also worn in like a harry potter movie harry potter wore it like on the double decker bus scene um same jacket and it's an old navy jacket that was out of print years and years and years holy fucking shit um i don't even know how i feel holding this thing again old navy there it is um I don't even, f I f even feel weird putting it on. Uh, fuck me. Uh, my review of this jacket. Uh, it, this, it was originally, um, it was a Christmas gift, come to think of it. Um, and it was a blatant and obvious re-gift. And it was given to me somewhere in the mid-2000s. And I never wore it. But when PCW was getting going again, and we did shows in this place called Sam Stone Studios, and the people that I trained back then will hear that and go like, holy shit. Um, and Larry Goodman also will remember because it was like, oh, wow, it's crazy because we were going to do a TV show, which we only filmed a few episodes. Sam Stone, that's a whole nother story <laughs> um, for a Patreon video. Um, long story short, I needed to stand out and it was cold when we were doing these shows and Sam Stone Studios, it was like multi-story and it was crazy. And I was like, people have to be able to spot me. Um, and I'm like, well, let me wear this thing cause it's cold, but not that cold and whatever. So that was the first time I put on the green jacket was for our first Sam Stone studio television show which I felt like went really well. So then it became sort of a good luck charm. And then I just kept wearing it. And then it became sort of indelibly etched with Stephen Plotnam. Stephen Plotnam wears the green jacket. And I tried to get duplicates of it. Um, but it was long out of print because it, again, I'd had it, I'd had it for at least a year, probably closer to two or three 
um, before I even put it on. So it was by then it was way out of print and people had tried to find it for years for me, which was very kind of them. And I had variations of it. I had that like, Fucking smells new. It's this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. Um, I found variations of the jacket, but it was never quite the same. I have one that's autographed um, by everybody that Rick Michaels arranged actually for the the boys and the women of PCW to autograph. So I have that, and that'll eventually be framed and put up. Um, but the real deal. Um, is with Matt Hankins, and so it should stay. I've given Matt Hankins a couple of things over the years. Um, the one and only PCW hat um, that was ever really made that was black and white. Um, that kind of thing, because I wanted him to know this is his, right? Um, but clearly, this YouTube channel thing has become a lot bigger than I thought it would be, and it's become its own part of the Georgia wrestling landscape. And there's something about having this again that does feel right. Fuck, let me put this thing on. <sighs> According to the size, it's, it's should be my size. Wow, it's so new. I don't even remember the last time this jacket was new. I, I would have been... First time I put the jacket on, the original one, was 2009. Ten years ago. And now, ten years later... Wow, a little thinner than it used to be. Sorry, I'm ad just admiring. My I was going to back off of admiring, but that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm admiring this jacket on me. <sighs> Holy shit. Um... What's my review? <laughs> um, it's the best. Uh, it's the best Christmas present um, in recent memory. Certainly the best one since I've gotten divorced. And holy fucking shit! Um, thank you. Um, to the person who gave this to me, thank you. I don't know how you tracked this down. I don't know how you found a brand new one. I don't know if... You, I, I, I assume you didn't have it made. It had the old navy tag on it. It's got the original zipper thing that broke off so easily on the other one. And it's... Fuck. Thank you. Um, man, I'm feeling really Christmassy right now super Christmassy. Um, I'm going to end this. By the way, I'm watching a Christmas story because fucking American. Um, this is amazing. Um, this year has been an amazing journey. Uh, I hate that cliche, but it's true. Um, somebody told me that it was going to take a year before I felt like I was back on my feet after the divorce, which happened, you know, at the end of last year, really, beginning of this year. Um, and that's true. I don't feel completely on my feet yet. I, I think when I get the next promotion at my job, I'll really feel as if I've really made it through. Though being able to actually give my kids some decent gifts this year helps a lot. Um... And this, thank you, um, because it's really because of the channel, 
It's because of the early encouragement I got with the channel. Even when, I mean, obviously when you start off, you're, a lot of people aren't going to be listening. Um, and I've been going through the early videos to, to put together this best of thing. And, uh, you know, it, a lot of people didn't watch it first, though it was the people that I wanted to watch. And a lot of the early, early criticism, it didn't sting because I've long ago been bulletproof to that kind of thing. But it it was a constant reminder, this isn't where you want it to be. Um, and then Elena would come up with ideas and Veronica as well. And um, it just got bigger and bigger. And now the channel is... I feel like able to, I feel like it's really contributed. I think it's, it's given Larry a sort of new lease um, on being excited about wrestling. It's certainly revived Georgia wrestling history. I think coupled with uh, Gunnar Miller and the tapped out guys and the people who write stuff for Georgia wrestling history and Rob Rod and all the rest, I think we've really made Georgia wrestling um, we haven't made it special, but we've made it so it's got a feel and it's got a sense of the scene and it's sort of bonded together wrestling people in a, com in a communal way, in a way that doesn't exist in any other state. And I hope people realize how special that is. Um, but I get out of it as much as I put into it. I told somebody once in anger, <laughs> really, that I was tired of paying into pro wrestling, that now I'm going to withdraw from that fucking bank of pro wrestling. And I think I've done that and then some. I don't just mean financially. I don't mean in terms of sort of attention and, and being nominated, for example, for mentor means a great deal to me. And knowing that I'm probably going to be one of the two top vote getters. Um, even if I don't win, I seriously am thrilled that it's the kind of award that I've always wanted to win. And I'll just be blatantly honest. Um, the only award at this stage that I desperate to get besides mentor now is legend. And I know that that's going to take years and of diligent work, like the people who've won it before me, right? Well, I haven't won it. I may never win it. This is hopefully Larry's year. Um, that's the, if you want to give me a gift, fucking vote for Larry for legend for Georgia Wrestling History Awards. But getting something like this and all the other shirts, the Cure shirt, all the shirts that people had made for me, Diana sending that, <laughs> the shit show shirt, and the, the P-list shirt, and the F-bomb shirt, and very aggressive, uh, you know, like, who I am in these videos is who I fucking am, I cuss a lot, uh, I, if, if somebody incurs my wrath, I'm vengeful to a brutal, brutal fault, um, but at the end of the day, I'm a fucking wrestling guy. And that's why all the critiques that people used to level, oh, he's there in Florida, it's this, that, and the other, uh, doesn't really apply. Because at the end of the day, I know I've earned my fucking seat at the table. And this gift by somebody who, ah, wish I could say who they were. Um, they're kind, they're generous, um, they're gorgeous. And they've done it. They've given me a Christmas present that really puts the cherry on the Sunday of what has turned out to be a really phenomenal year. When last year was anything but phenomenal. And now I get to knock out a quick workout, gather all this stuff up, badly wrap this PlayStation 4, and then haul my cookies over there to have Christmas with my kids. Um, by the way, we're going on a safari monster truck. That's our adventure today. <laughs> and then we're going to see Star Wars later. And it's all very exciting and it's all very good. But this. I hope you have a Christmas Kwanzaa 
whatever you celebrate. That's great. I hope yours goes as well as mine already has. My God, it's already five in the morning. And I've already had a lovely Christmas. The best one I can remember in a long, long time. It's fucking amazing. People are fucking amazing. Um, you're breathtaking, motherfuckers. God bless you, Keanu Reeves. And God bless us, um, if I believed. Which I don't. Um, but fuck that. Hold up. I got this shit back. Platinum bless us, everyone.